today I'm gonna be telling y'all the story on how I got arrested over some white cats. Y'all already going to the comment that white cats aren't even that good to get arrested over. Like, chill, bro. It's, it's gonna make sense once you hear the story. So let me set the scene. This goes back to April of this year. It was a Friday. It was me, Adot, and Shiki were over my home Jemiah crib. That's like one of my closest girlfriends. I knew her since we was in preschool. Like, we grew up together. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? And if, if you watch the videos, you already know Adot. You already know Shiki. So, you know, we all over there. We watching the Suns game. Because that nigga Adot love the Suns. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been watching that. They was playing late. So by that time we get to the end of the game, it's like 11.30. Even before we went to Jemiah crib, me and Ada was planning to go to the gym right after. So, you know, I text my OG because, you know, I'm still under her roof. I was, I'm 18, but I'm still like, I still respect my mom. Like, I'm not just going to go nowhere mad late. So I text, I was like, can I go to the gym with Ada? And she hit me back. She was like, nah, it's kind of late. I need you back by 12. And at this point, it's like 11.30. So I'm like, dang, I went to go to the gym. I'm kind of blue. And I was like, I'm gonna still go after the game over type shit. So we just sitting there, we watching the game, you know. Then it get to about 11.45, the game actually finished. Adot went home to change to go to the gym. And like soon after he left, me and Shiki was about to leave. And you know, Jamai about to stay, about, it's her crib. And as I'm going out, you know, we was talking about we was hungry, but I'm like, dang, I don't even got time for no eats. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about food. This is where the story take a turn. This is in no way her fault, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to put blame on nobody, but let me say, as me and Shiki getting ready to go out the door, Jemaya, she was like, she was like, now nah, I'm trying to get some food. You know, we was like, uh, nah, it's too late, I don't got no time. Then, you know, she say, if you take me to get food, I'll pay for your food. See, the thing, that changed the whole shit up, because you got to understand, I'm, first of all, I'm in college, I'm a business major. I'm always put the business first, I'm always put the money first, you know what I'm saying? After God, of course, God, family, God. But here's where it gets a little tricky. At this point, it's about 11.50. My OG told me to be home at 12. We do the calculations. Jemaya crib about three, four minutes away from my crib. And White Capsule is about seven minutes in the opposite direction from her crib. So it was about, I would have to drive seven minutes there, probably five minutes to get the food. That's 12 minutes. Then drive like 10 minutes back. So it's like 20 minutes. It's, it's basically a 20 minute trip. But it's at 11 50, so I have to make that 20 minute trip in 10 minutes to get back home. So, logically, it don't make sense. Like, that's impossible. How I'm gonna cut the trip time in half. But the money and the hunger cloud in my judgment, I'm like, shit, we could do it. That means we gotta go. We just gotta go a little fast, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, come on, y'all, come on, y'all. We don't got time to play. We all hop in the car. Jemiah in the passenger, Shiki in the backseat. I'm driving. You know, I'm going. What's so I had to put on that baby Tron, because you know, when that baby Tron get in my ass, especially in a car, I'm, <laughs> we, we pushing that hell. So let me set the scene, you know what I'm saying? We about, uh, call it five minutes into the drive. So we getting pretty close. Literally, we was on the street. White Castle's at the end of the street. We was going kind of up a hill, and then you go down the hill, and then you go down the hill, and then at the end of that hill, White Castle's there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make some imagery for y'all. That's, that's the vocab term of the day, folks, imagery. So White Castle here, as we going up, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give Shiki's credit. He right next to me, he was like, he was like, I, no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a sec. At this point, I'm, I'm pushing it a little bit. Like the speed limit here, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm pushing it a little bit. Shiki tell me, he was like, he was like, yo, motion, watch out. You know, it'd be 12, be sitting on this street. Like, I'm like, Look at the time, nigga, how, how I'm gonna get home before 12, bro, I don't got time for that. So, you know, as we going up, I'm going even faster because I can't see what's in front of me. So we get to the top of the hill, we come down, as soon, nigga, as, I'm talking about as soon as I get to the hill, all I see is, I fly past, but I see a cop car sitting right there, I'm, damn. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I was damn near going at the speed of light. I don't even know if the nigga seen me, bro. I'm like, maybe he ain't seen me. Sure enough. <laughs> Bust, he busted you. And then I'm trying to think like, so maybe he just wants some white castle too. He's going the same way. That's not for me. So, cause he ain't turning the lights on right away. He just turned behind me. I'm like, okay. Then turn the lights on. Oh, I'm blue. I'm blue. But let me say, okay. I know what y'all think of me like motion. You a dumbass. Like he said 12 on that street. But here's the thing. I literally, before this, I had never got pulled over. So when he said that, I'm like, it sounds good. If I never got pulled over, why? This is going to be the one time I get pulled over. Sure enough, they turned the lights on, you know, pulled me over. I didn't even know what to do because I never got pulled over. I was like, shit, do I just stop moving? They like, nah, you got to get to the side. So I just, eh. he just stopped. You know, he pulled me over. He stopped. But cop get out the car. White folks, you know, he walking up. Put my hands on the steering wheel, you know. 
he get to the window, he was like, he asked for the license and registration. I give him my license, you know what I'm saying? Give him the registration, had to find, I was like, it's in a glove box, I, I can grab it real quick, cause I ain't making no sudden move, hell no. Nah. I'm, I'm like, I could grab that shit real quick. He's like, yeah, I ain't say shit. I'm, I, I was using my proper white voice. So man, I grabbed my, my registration, it's right next to my high school diploma and English essay. You know what I'm saying? I had, I, I had to look like the good guy. So you know, I grabbed the shit, I give it to him. I'm sitting there. He said, sir, do you know how fast you, you were going? I was like, uh, nah, about, about 50. He was like, nah, about, he was like, nah, you were going uh, 77. I'm like, sheesh, because he tracked them on a little speed tracker. I'm like, okay. He's like, do you know what the speed limit is over here? I was like, no, sir. He said, it's 30. I'm like, sheesh. So I was going double, but I didn't even, I didn't even realize I was going that fast. Cause no one was on the street, so I just coasted. So I'm thinking, I'm like, dang, I got the ticket. I'm gonna have to pay this motherfucker. I'm blue. I'm like, I ain't never got a ticket, but I'm like, okay. I learned my lesson, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, give me the ticket. I'm gonna pay the ticket, get in a little trouble. But now I learned my lesson. I'm, I'm done speeding. And they're gonna tell me, can you step out the vehicle, sir? Okay. I'm like, okay. He asked me to step out, you know what I'm saying? I'm assuming I've watched, you know, Scary Straight. I'm thinking, okay. He want me to get out. I'm going to stand there. He's going to give me a stern talking to about, like, you know, all this shit's going on in the world, how I can't be doing this shit. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Just just a little scare tactic. He's trying, he trying to make sure I don't speed again. I'm like, okay. I get out the car. And I'm expecting him to, like, you know, get into his speech. He's looking at me. He like, he turn around, please. I turn around. I'm like, <laughs> he, he talking about turn around. I'm like, shit, who behind me? What the f***? This like a, <laughs> like a game show. Like, I turn around, nigga. Arms behind my back. Gets a handcuff me. I'm like, Wow, you put me in the cuffs. I'm thinking, okay. I'm like, okay, this is a elaborate scare tactic. You know what I'm saying? This y'all got my heart beating a little bit, but I'm still chilling. I'm like, nah, this this can't be like this can't be what it looked like. While he was handcuffing me, I forgot. He was like, he's like, uh, sir, you're you're under arrest. I'm like, sit down. I'm like, okay, this is under arrest. I mean, you know, it's he he just chatting though. He not for real. I ain't never even got pulled over. Like this this not happening right now. Walk into the car. He sit me in the car. First of all, the seat's hard as hell. Like, you know, a regular car, they got cushions on the seat. They make that bitch hard on purpose. Of course, it's like the cage in front of me. I'm like, dang. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, okay, the joke's gone on long enough. Like, nigga, you could, you could let me go, folks. Like, I, I learned my lesson. I'm not gonna speed no more. So then I asked him, I was like, I was like, I could call my mom real quick. Cause this is, at this point, he done held me up. It's past up. I had to tell him. I'm like, I could call my mom real quick. Let her know I'm straight. He was like, you can call when we get to the station. Um, what? Like, what station? I'm thinking this nigga playing with the radio or some shit, like, trying to get get on 93.9, like, get to the right station. He's trying to find some tunes for background music while I'm getting yelled at. But now this nigga talking about the police station. He get in the car. I'm like, I got to take my friends home and, and, like, get the car. Like, what about what about my friends, the car? They just going to leave. He was, he was like, oh, uh, they on the way. They finna tow your car and somebody coming to pick up your friends. Um. Shit, I'm like, nah, this nigga dead ass. Then we start pulling off. I'm seeing, I'm seeing Jemaya and Shiki on the outside just looking at me like, they on the phone, they they trying to call people and shit. I'm like, wow, this is not real, fuck. So, you know, they take me to the station. I get to the station, he take me out of the car. I wasn't even like crying or nothing. I'm just like, nigga, am I really getting arrested right now, fuck? I'm just, he, he take me inside, you know what I'm saying? get up in that room. Then he made me sit down, I'm handcuffed in a seat. Now he took the handcuffs off. Cause you know, now I'm not, I'm not a threat. I'm not a menace to society. I'm just, I'm just a regular nigga, folks. I'm just, just wrong place, wrong time type shit. Then, uh, you know, he bring me up to the thing. He processed me. I'm like, they take my fingerprints, like all the fingers. Then he take me, I'm taking a mug shot. I'm standing there like, he like, turn, turn on. This shit just like how it is in the movies. I'm like, this is no way this is real. I'm like, <laughs> do all the process and this. Then he take me to this little cell, put me in a room. Here's the thing. It wasn't one of the like isolation cells. It was like a, it, it was a holding cell where there's like multiple seats in there. And my head, when I'm seeing, when I'm seeing it's multiple seats. Um, I ain't, I ain't no tough nigga, folk. <laughs> nigga, I ain't supposed to be in here with these niggas. Like, don't put me in, don't put me in here with no damn, I'm in here for it. Excessive speed. And what if they put yeah, a murderer come in there? I ain't fuck with that nigga. So like, I'm like, hell no, I'm praying. I'm like, God, 
please don't let them put no niggas in here, bro. No, like, I, I, I just I just be here by myself. So I'm just sitting there. They had me in that for like an hour. But I wasn't even bored, though. I was watching that dough like a mother. That shit was scary. I'm looking on the inside of the cell door. Like, they scratch things in there. Like, some gang shit. I ain't gonna repeat it. But I'm like, I'm not supposed to be here. If I'm like, over speed, over White Castle? I'm blue. But then eventually, after like an hour, he let me out. You know what I'm saying? Let me out. He brought me back to that room where I was getting processed in. Brought out the little paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he brought out the paperwork. He's like, sign here, sign here. I'm looking at it. I'm reading what I'm signing. It's like, they talking about bond is, my, my bond is 2000 You just need 10% to get out. That's 200 I'm like, yo, what is going on? Then I'm looking at it. He like, he told me, this is your court date. I'm like, court, is we not done? You Nigga, you still doing it? I thought this, I'm thinking it's the scare straight shit. He talking about it's excessive speeding, reckless driving, like, you gotta go to court for that. You broke the law. I'm like, okay. It's not even the scariest part of the story. To be honest, all that shit was like, that shit compared to, cause here's the thing. Since this happened when I was 18, so you know, when you're younger, you got you gotta wait on your parents to come get you. But I'm 18, so the nigga just let me go. And I'm like, I'm not gonna call my parents and wait them out their sleep to come get me. Cause of course my car at the impound or whatever. So I'm like, wherever they told wherever they told my car to, shit, I'm gonna walk the Uber. I'm I'm getting there by myself. I gotta get the car back. I gotta I gotta do something. Cause I can't show back show up to the crib empty handed. Then the last thing before this nigga was gonna let me out, he said, Yo, friends out there waiting for you. I'm like, for real? And keep in mind, this is like two, three hours after the situation. And I found out as soon as this shit happened, because you know, Adot was with us. You remember how I told y'all, Adot went home to go change for the gym. Shiki called Adot, he, Motion just got arrested. We need you like, come scoop us. Like we just outside. Adot scooped Shiki and Jemaya. They took him to the station. Them niggas waited for me hours out there. That's why, man, I love all them. All them, they, they are my family for like, real nigga activities. I would have been out there stranded like a But, you know, they was done. I got out. I went to the car, I told him what happened. I'm like, no, oh, this shit crazy. You know, I told y'all like Jemiah, that's like, I knew her since preschool, like that's my day one. She know how my people get down. She was like, yo mom gonna kill you. I'm like, I'm already gone. So this is this is why I said that's not even the scariest part. Me and they, they dropped me back off at home. What this is, it gotta be like three, four a.m. I have to wake them out they sleep and tell them that I got arrested. <sighs> Nigga, if I wake them out they sleep for anything, they was gonna be mad. You know, parents don't like getting woken up out they sleep. I woke them up, I was like, I tried to ease into it. Like, I got arrested. My mom woke up first, she came, we was talking about it. She's like, arrested? She, at first she's like, do they even arrest people for speeding? Like, it didn't make sense to me either, but I'm like, shit, I was in the wrong. And you know, she got on my ass. Then she's like, gotta go, gotta go tell your dad. She went back to the room, woke up my dad. As I'm standing there, just getting yelled at, getting degraded, called like everything in the book, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I deserve this. I'm fully in the wrong. Like I can't be, I can't be mad at nobody but myself. You know what I'm saying? This one's on me. You know what I'm saying? Uh. But yeah, after I got yelled at, uh, went to sleep, you know? You know, I told the people around me what was going on. I had a shorty at the time, I told her. I'm like, damn, I was like, cause we supposed to, we supposed to hang out the next day. I'm like, shit, I don't think I'm gonna make it to hang out tomorrow. I don't think I can come get you. She's like, wow, I was like, I don't got my car. She's like, wow, I got arrested. <laughs> you know, you know how that goes. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Telling everybody. Next thing you know, boom, we fast forward a few months, you know? Well, I had to get a lawyer cause I was going to court and shit. I went to court. It went good. They just gave me, I got, I got probation for a year. You know what I'm saying? This is just a very valuable learning lesson. I just learned that. Listen to your parents, kids. If I would have just went home, like my OG had told me to, this would have never happened. Two, just cause something don't happen to you, don't mean it can't happen. Like niggas aren't talking about getting pulled over. I had never got pulled over. I had been driving for mad long. I, I used to speed and shit too. I'm done with that shit now, but like, I used to speed and shit and I never got pulled over. I'm like, that shit not real. That shit just in the movies. I didn't think it could happen to me. That shit happened to me, folks. Third lesson, you always gotta find some good and the bad. Cause even though this was a horrible, horrible situation, 
I got a story to tell, you know, this story time will make me some money, you know what I'm saying, make the money back for the lawyer, for the little car impound, you know what I'm saying, hey, could be a plus minus, you know what I'm saying, it could be a good situation, and, you know, it's a nice little story to tell the hoe, you know, I just sneak that in the conversation, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, you know, motherfuckers on probation, <laughs> you know, they, they love that shit, <laughs> they love that shit. Oh, one more, one more thing, the fourth tip, third tip, whatever we on, make sure you got right the right people in your circle, because cause some of y'all homies, some of y'all homies would've went, some of y'all homies would've went and got that lift in at the gym and said, fuck y'all. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. That nigga ADOT, I fucked up his workout. I felt bad, you know what I'm saying? But he came in, he came through. Jemiah, Shiki, ADOT, they all waited for me sitting outside because they worried about they homies. So watch you in your circle. Make sure, get you an ADOT, a Shiki, and a Jemiah. I ain't did a story time before on the channel. Let me know if y'all fuck with him. I got some more stories to tell. I done, I done had some crazy shit happen before. I just, yeah. Let me know what y'all want. All right, we out.